So, in case you haven't seen it, my uh, channel is being review bombed uh, pretty consistently uh, since I started talking about uh, an admitted pedophile who wants to normalize child porn and uh, adult child relations and uh, their uh, server, um, which I exposed a year ago as uh, a server containing many people uh, a few people liked. Um, so they didn't take too kindly to that uh, because apparently uh, accountability is dead in the so-called libertarian community. Because of that, um, be and because of consistent lies that were told, uh, in an attempt to shutter my exposure rather than actually dead-on discuss it, I started to come out against these people and eventually um, made a video uh, about the entire situation, which uh, is currently massively review-bombed, but y'all can change that by hitting the like button on this one and those as well. The point is that uh, I wanted to do a full-on, like, multi-hour video about this, and I probably still will at some point, um, but it'll be a compilation of a bunch of smaller vids I put out. Uh, and one of these vids uh, that I'm putting out is an interview that I conducted with Cass Warfox, uh, where we went over some of the, uh, the, the things that led up to the stream, uh, the first stream he had with the pedophile bunny, and uh, the streams that, uh, that he had afterward uh, relating to this situation in general. Um, and also discussed uh, some of the circumstances surrounding that stream as well. So without further ado, let's get to that interview. Uh, I think it's going to tell you some facts about the situation and about exactly what uh, Riley was there to back and uh, give you a little bit of insight as to why I felt so strongly about this to begin with. I'll also be including little clips of those streams, and I'll be including uh, enough information in this to make a pretty damning case against Riley. This is only video three in my series. I'm gonna try to do a 10-part series on this situation because these people wanted to squeeze content out of it, these people wanted to interview irrelevant people, and these people wanted to completely dismiss my position uh, as unworthy of discussion. So I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to farm this content, and I'm also going to do this in order to fully expose the situation, because the fact is, if libertarians and anarchists can't push the pedos out, we're going to fail. So let's get to this. And now we're to the part of the video where I get to talk to someone who was involved in the initial process. So let's, uh, let's get this, this particular thing very clear. Um, when I came into contact with Riley was a significant period of time before um, I came into contact with Cass. Um, it was before all this, like, before I started to get into pedo hunting, etc., and in general, I, um, I already knew what uh, Riley's voice sounded like. So when I heard Riley on this stream, uh, it was interesting to say the least. So mm. what I wanted to like sort of have a conversation about sort of in the middle of this video um, was how you came into contact. This is Cass Warfox, uh, the person responsible for the initial stream um, that sort of blew this whole thing wide open how you like got to like know riley how you first came into contact what the conversation was like but also um like sort of your side of it from from there on out so why don't we start with what you did and how like the initial thing started uh before you even knew who no map bunny was um how it started and this is to the best of my memory. This was around about nine to ten months ago from now. Uh, what happened was I initially did a stream where we were talking about a, a di completely different topic, a completely different individual, uh, or, or, you know, a target rather. Uh, we were making fun of a, a particular well-known uh, map in in that side of the community, and we were having a ball just making fun of him, especially when we found an ex like some interesting information of him admitting to uh, 
let's just say doing things to his uh, underage cousin's asshole. Mm. What a pleasant conversation that fucking was. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so we were having this conversation. I, I got contacted by Nomad Bunny in the middle of the stream while I, I was just making cracking jokes about this bit of information about this guy. This guy we made fun of was called Jonathan Curtin, or what we like to call a Mr. Uh, Molesty Meat Curtains, just to fuck with him. Uh, so Nomad Bunny wanted a debate in the middle of a stream that wasn't about him started demanding this debate should take place. So I figured, fuck it. Why not? What, he seems like he really wants to have a fight. Uh, and for a bit on that stream, we did ha we did exchange words and try to understand what the fuck he's on about. And a lot of the same positions that he took in that stream is also where we transitioned to the other stream where everyone's more familiar, the unexpected debate between no map bunny or pedo bunny versus rant the gauge of the ranting doom guy who gauge being a one of the friends of my show and another person who engages in his own fair share of pedo hunting uh like after the, the first stream the the jonathan Curtin one uh before that stream ever happened no map bunny challenged both me and gauge to a real one-on-one -on -one, uh, entirely you know that one debate as to why, we never really knew why, but he demanded that debate to happen. He really wanted to fight me and Gage on the topic about pedophilia. He wanted to argue about age of consent and all of this shit, uh, and so we figured, fuck it, why not we set up a debate for that? We thought he was going to flake. Turns out he he actually uh, participated in it, in it, and I do what I usually do on shows like this. Uh... I let them essentially dig themselves so that you can hear exactly how retarded their logic is and you can understand exactly what they're trying to, you know, pull here before we start making fun of them. Uh, at the time, I didn't know anything about King Bunny or Riley Bunny, whatever his name is now. Um, he was a completely foreign entity in my mind, never heard about him. Uh, it was only until later after the stream where he exposed his infatuation with uh, interests in, like, you know, kids and all of this other shit and how he thinks uh, pedophilia is a libertarian position, which pissed off a considerable amount of my audience who were libertarians. Uh, that, like, it's only until later that we knew about Riley as an individual. Like, it, it was something that, like, other people came in and said, uh, hey, Kaz... That guy's name. That guy's fucking Riley. Well, right. Who the and, fuck is Riley? And 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 like that was the direct result of of uh, my sort of like because the thing is, I've I've known this person for a significant period of time, and it didn't mm -hmm. even occur to me until um until I heard that voice until I saw the whole thing with him and Leafdis Morgan leaking stuff into another Discord server, um. And Leif Dis Morgan, for those of you who don't already know, is a huge pro-contact pedophile. They're trying to start a big commie movement for it. Um, oh, and God. So, like, I, I had been looking into these people because these people had been thorns in my side already. And so he seemed to be on their side. And, uh, and, and it seemed really... It was interesting. I'll say it was interesting that uh, somebody with a similar voice who also seemed to be on their side had been on a stream recently with you. So this mm -hmm. person made the mistake of asking to join anti-pedo action temporarily. And um, and that's when I sort of started to look into them. And, uh, and, and sort of like this person really did like dig their own grave in this regard because um, I've known them for years um, and I'm possibly one of the reasons that they got known in the anarchist slash libertarian community at all because one of the things that i did um a while back was i had a site i was trying to get off the ground called time to free dot us where uh where like people could submit their like anarchist or state reductionist uh material and we would publish it um it wasn't a paid thing because i had no money basically 
um, but it was uh, an effort that could have been very successful uh, if I had had a broader editing staff, if I had, you know, planned better. But basically, it failed a little later. But he was one of the writers on that site, um, and his articles always seemed very disorganized and poorly written, but, you know, I didn't want to fucking alienate somebody just based on that, so I figured I'd edit them, I'd try to put some polish on them, whatever. But mm -hmm. essentially, I already knew this person. I knew what his voice sounded like because I had listened to his YouTube already um, and, and found out that I, you know, couldn't really gain anything of value from it. And, uh, and so I already knew this person, and it wasn't hard to connect the dots. Now, when, when you had this stream with this person, um, how much contact with them did you have afterward? Because they didn't do very well in that stream at all. Uh, uh, people like uh, Riley? Yeah. Um, none, virtually. Like, we never talked much, practically ever, outside of the times he demanded a debate to happen. Like, other than that, like, no. Like, our interactions have always been extremely limited. Um, there was only one time when I guess, like, everyone was lurking, including myself, was lurking into a server because he was talking about some very suspicious shit and everyone was concerned about something. Did we have a conversation? He tried to feed me this idea that like Amos Yi has this like this like the server secret server, which he's never provided informa information on. Mm. But that's that was like some weird shit. Where like the few interactions I've ever had with Riley was him trying to like spin people into weird like goose chases and shit and other things of that nature. Outside of that, we never talked much, and he never seemed like he was interested in talking much. It seemed like he was interested in trying to push his belief that he thinks that kids have autonomy to consent with adults, mm -hmm. which is what he keeps bitching about and how he believes what he's doing is libertarianism, and it's a libertarian position, pissing off like a good portion of my audience were libertarians and a bunch of other people in betweens. Um and that's really about it. Like the, my suspicious shit was when, whenever like Riley loses his shit and he realizes he fails, people like Amos Yi and all those other maps are usually following suit. Right, like Hypersonic in both of our comments. Yeah, that that's that's an example. Yeah, and and so on that score. Um, First off, I wanted to ask you if you had gotten a chance to uh, watch his most recent interaction, and this was on Gabby's new channel, mm -hmm. apparently made specifically for this subject, because the first video and only video on there is uh, a discussion about how, you know, I'm evil and uh, um, <laughs> the the I'm the problem with anarchy. You know, not people trying to say that pedophilia should be acceptable under an anarchist scope, but, you know... The person fighting that you know pe pe pedophiles are the real uh are, are are the real the real voting block in this regard they're they're the, they're the people <laughs> who are gonna bring it up from the grassroots um that sarcasm aside um ha i was wondering if you saw that stream yet um a good friend of mine a couple of days back i think uh at least maybe yesterday did show me the stream Okay. Uh, it was already over, and I had I I watched it, uh, and the most I got from it is it's a bunch of non sequiturs. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of him comparing apples to oranges, doing the typical map like comparing maps to LGBT and all this other stupid shit, or that somehow, you know, uh, somehow it's slavery mm -hmm. to t that to t to say that kids shouldn't have sex with adults. Well, I I don't know. Yeah, and, and see, the thing is, like, My during partners. your stream, what he was saying was 13 should be the, the minimum age. Um, and that was because he consented at 13, according to him. Um, now, apparently that's shifted lower, because not only during a Discord conversation somebody leaked to me, but also during um, the, the stream itself, he then went on to say that, you know... <laughs> we're uh, we're talking 12 now example say your 12 year old says you know what i have a bitcoin miner i don't like to go into bed at 10 i'm gonna go get my own apartment if you were to lock the door and say you cannot leave you are no better than the state a kidnapper and an abuser 
each person who owns themselves in a libertarian society has a right to their own to their own self autonomy to their own self and when they're able to act upon that autonomy only they get to decide when they're ready to do something when they're ready to drive when they're ready to rent when they're ready to move out when they're ready to even fuck so i'm wondering how low that's going to go before we reach like you know leaf dismorgan levels of like yeah let's let parents masturbate their babies um oh god yeah leaf dismorgan is really far into it um and, and extremely sick um regularly starting new accounts because their previous one got banned and then new ones for ban evasion talking about like pedo pride and specifically nepio pride which is babies oh. and toddlers and shit um oh, the, oh. The, yeah i see this is the thing like a lot of people like they they immediately dismiss the argument and they they walk away and that's what riley apparently thought i did um riley had no idea and was not prepared during that stream you and i were on recently for the amount that i knew about the crowds that they ran in the the point is dude is that there was a lot of weird shit going on in that server a lot of people including myself had issues with it and uh, I was trying to understand and ask a few questions legitimately as to why these people were freaking out and why do they have these freaks in here? Because people like Hypersonic aren't just some random faggots on the internet. They're well-known individuals in the, quote, map community that have been around since the days of Amos Yi. And Amos Yi has been caught several times for trying to take child porn from children, twice, in fact, in his own servers. Ethical child porn, though. <laughs> Oh god, don't get me started with destiny, please, Mr. <laughs> Incest Boy. Like that that's the reason why that people like me had issue with you, especially that this was coming off the heels off of our uh, debate with you. You right. literally tried to justify the idea of adults having sex with children and that there was no age consent, that essentially a fetus can have sex with an adult type of shit. That was our problem with you. And then we came across with all of this disturbing shit. That granted, as much as I got through that recording, wasn't even close to the amount of shit that's being said at the time. And I'm sure there's other people who have their, you know, share bear too. Because let's be honest, it's a public server. Everyone started realizing who you were. I'm pretty sure somebody's got a greater archive than what I have. But even what I have alone is pretty fucking disturbing and really damning as to what your server is. I don't believe it's a free speech server when you start using it and allowing it for retards like that. To sit there and actually start talking about these conversations and God knows what else in DM3 minors. I'm sorry, dude. I don't see how that's a free speech zone. Well, that server doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Because let, let's be honest, if servers like that, either they're flagged down or someone in there who had like ownership of it probably deleted it because they probably don't want certain people knowing what's in it. Oh, uh, so you're saying that hypersonic? Because I haven't talked to them in fucking a year almost now. Was getting child porn off people? He's known for being parts around groups who do. He's someone who's been advocating for the position of literally exploiting children and being okay with it. Same with Leaf Dis Morgan. Same with a lot of the fucks that were following the account that you have on Gab that I've been accused falsely, again a lie, of creating. Um, a, a lot of these people are very well known, very well connected, long established people. You know, one yeah. of your followers is Ed Chambers, and Ed Chambers has an IMDb page because he's been in two movies um, where he tried to justify it to the public. What's that? An IMDb? It's the Internet Movie Database. Oh. As yeah. in where a lot of people get their movie information. Like, he's he's mainstream enough to be on two things. Like, one destigmatization movie and another called I Pedophile, daring to emphasize. You know, like, these people are very specific. They're pro-contact. And Ed Chambers says he regrets his anti-contact activism. So, like, <laughs> he got banned so, so many times. He did so many things that were that were shady and wrong. He looks like a creep, he acts like a creep, and he follows you on Gap. That along with Leaf Dis Morgan, who talks about masturbating babies mm -hmm. because it's good for them. Um, that along with um, 
you know, hypersonic who boosted you in that stream saying things like hashtag pedo pride and talking about normalization. <laughs> Let me be very fucking specific. I have been following these people and I am a crazy person. They fucked with a crazy person. They didn't even know what an IMDB was, apparently, if you believe them. Um, oh, much geez. less that Ed, Ed Chambers, one of their mutual followers on Gab, um, has an IMDB for pro-pedophile stuff. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they, they don't... See, this is the thing. And, and, and the reason, like, I wanted to get you on here. A lot of what they seem to be doing is being personally ill-informed themselves, stepping into a situation they're not ready for, and um, acting like a victim when they get negative feedback. And I think this is exactly what it is. It's basically like concern baiting. It's Yeah, it's concern trolling. Well, I, I wouldn't even say that. Concern trolling is when you're saying, you know, oh, I feel so bad for you. You know, it, it must hurt. Uh, yeah. Who hurt you? This is more like, who hurt me? When they intentionally do uh, shit that I think even they know is unethical um, in, in pursuit mm -hmm. of this sort of thing. I mean, they don't care about the truth. They don't care about keeping promises. They've already backtracked on the promises they made to us during that stream to get, like, more mentally well and go against this shit. So oh, yeah. it seems from this outside perspective uh, that what what they really want is that attention. More than likely. The, the thing is, and I'll say like two things were actually right then and there. Uh, one is uh, if you remember in that little debate that I and Gage had uh, versus Riley, Riley believed that uh, believes that there should be no age of consent laws whatsoever. Mm. None. Like – like at one point he said 13 as a limit and then he went like completely zero like no limits at all it's it was very crazy like he would jump around these particular points all the time it was it was completely disorganized and rather confusing and it felt like he was just it felt almost like purposely digging oneself into a a particular grave uh well, with how crazy it was well yeah i mean but, but that's sort of part of the thing it's incrementalism if you can test the waters and make sure they're okay with 13, maybe you can test the waters and make sure they're okay going deeper. Because, like, realistically, he keeps on saying, you know, oh, oh definitely 8 is too, is too young. But then he doesn't describe why 12 is acceptable or 13 is acceptable or 14 <laughs> or blah. You know, he's not he, – he, he makes the, like, a potential pillar of an argument and then does not – argue any further and it, it seems like what he's trying to do is maybe kick the stool out from under people so that they like question the, the the core of what they're saying um without actually having anything to replace that core with and um it's it's pretty interesting to me that uh, that he keeps on doing this and trying to dig um but mm -hmm. the, the other interesting thing to me is that he chose your stream as a stream to start it on. So I'm wondering uh, specifically uh, what this conversation was like when he was demanding to come on. What the conversation was when he demanded on was practically nothing more than just him going, oh, I want to debate, debate Gage. I'm like, well, about what? And the conversation was about pedophilia and age of consent, all this other shit. Uh, and rather demand it rather uh, fervently. He was he was pretty. Uh, he he really wanted this debate to happen. So I said again. I said me and Gage. I talked to Gage, and I was like, "Well, fuck it. I guess if this is what hell he wants to die on, then whatever. I mean, we've had times where these map retards wanted a debate against us, and we said okay, and we just you know we have these debates and we make fun of them because uh, I don't think these people realize. <laughs> that uh, they're not necessarily debates. They're just places where I ask questions and let them dig themselves deeper before we really start fucking with them. Uh, because there is no need to debate a, a map. There, There is no point. So it's literally just us fucking with them, and Riley took it that like we're going to somehow accept their opinion somehow. Uh, I I don't know. But he, he wanted this debate. He got butt-fucked with. Uh, he got made fun of for his disgusting opinions. Uh, 
uh, and I thought was more interesting was Amos Yi came in mm-hmm. not far, not long after, just to start some shit with us, because and then trying to back up Riley with those opinions that Riley has already expressed and failed to articulate. Because, uh, I mean, they're they're bad fucking arguments, and I don't believe you know there's any defending pedophiles. But uh, for some reason, like his Amos Yi and his groups decided to pop, and I thought that was also interesting. Uh, that should also be probably examined into, but still, as it stands, uh, we don't really have a lot of conversations with Riley. It was just strange. He demanded that to happen. He demanded like people to have a conversation with him. It was basically equivalent uh, equivalent of, pay attention to me. I want. I have an opinion too. Let me on. It was very weird. It was very. It was very childish in that sense. Yeah, and the funny part is, once Amos was on, he. He kept on citing, quote, researchers, but didn't actually have any research to cite or any, like, personal people to cite. He just said researchers and didn't have any names, any institutions. Fucking, I think a lot of these people have this prefabricated notion of what, like, the argument should be. And when it doesn't quite suit that, they're they're not prepared at all. And, like, Riley, he wasn't debating. He was mostly uh, trying to, like... I might, it might be understandable to have a debate with somebody if they were interested in debate, but he wasn't interested in debate. He wasn't interested in, you know, having his beliefs logically questioned or censured. And that's the reason why when you and I were talking to him the other day, um, he had basically nothing to say back. Like, we gave him plenty of openings. We gave him plenty of blank spaces to fill in, and he, he stayed quiet. Um, all the while probably resenting the whole thing and, uh, and and trying to find a way to morally justify it even though we had him backed into a corner. So, yeah. like, I, I think what he does is he wants the recognition that comes from a victory without any of the work that goes into making that victory happen, which is why mm-hmm. he's now speaking through emissaries in the form of Gabby, um, who directly sent me a message on Twitter today um, with, containing a screenshot where Riley is approving of watching child porn. Um, so. Oh God. Yeah. So I mean, the the whole like. I think, to a certain extent, um, he, he well, first off, to to get it really hammered down, he definitely is a pedo, and he admitted to it, and he argued for it, and he's been pretty adamant in that direction. But to be extremely specific, uh, I think he's also that way because of mental damage. And mental damage he refuses to fully assess. I mean, he said he was talking to a therapist, but I doubt he told the therapist any of this shit. Yeah, they would probably recommend he barely have any internet access at all, probably zero, if that would be the case. Especially if he's going to say statements like, being okay with possession of child porn. Jesus Christ. Viewing. That's the viewing uh that that kind of shit is enough to have the cops basically monitor you for the rest of your fucking life like no way a therapist is going to justify that in any semblance of the fucking word so either the fucking therapist thing is a lie or second of all it might might be true he's just not feeding the therapist the necessary information to do their job properly i i'll just say say this i don't know entirely what's to do with riley other than that, he wanted that hill to die on, and we essentially gave them the the exact hill to die on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just didn't even know at the time that he his name was Riley or whatever, and he had a history with like a bunch of different anarchist groups. I was told after the fact, and our interactions were still limited. In fact, I got rid of him off of my server because some of my uh, some of the regulars in my server were concerned that he would be doing gay ops because apparently he would try having conversations with other people and trying too hard to be buddy buddy with those of his complete opposite on the fence when when it comes down to the conversation and some people were getting this disingenuous vibe so we got rid of we got rid of him for that um I don't I don't really know what to say about that other than like we we couldn't really stand him as it is that's why we got rid of him off of our our platforms as soon as he's like uh, done with the debates and he was acting kind of weird. Well and and then of course like 
the the whole notion is that if you don't debate him, you're admitting defeat when all this stuff that he's bringing up has already been relatively well scoured over in other people's streams from other people who presented it better. So it's like, why would I talk to you specifically when you're making the same arguments so many other people have? Why would I talk to you specifically when it's coming down to the same issues that have already been thoroughly smashed? Yeah, exactly. Um, it was like a one and done deal as far as I'm concerned. It's why I don't bring Riley up much uh, because uh, there was no point. Uh, uh, and and it, was, it was odd as fuck because of the simple fact that he really wanted to constantly debate people on this topic and would make this like this like uh, this idea that if you disagree with him at all then you're wrong and somehow like you're not in, uh, a proponent of free speech which mm -hmm. was funny and ridiculous because no we were arguing with him with our points of view and our points of view was pretty fucking serious like it, it was pretty fucking like seriously simple it was just us saying kids can't consent pedophilia isn't something to justify stop fucking hiding behind disingenuous arguments and stop be, uh, you know hiding behind your Amos ye daddy for a second and real life and the thing is we're not going to agree with you period and he he got fucking pissy with it and that's the reason why people were scared of gay hops or something so you're, you're out bucko well Fuck and, you. and then like the, the secondary thing to all of that um this is why uh the map quote community is a problem because, mm -hmm. like, you can find and form a community to justify almost anything. And that's how fucking literally cults get started. Not just a group of people disagreeing with you online, which is what people are calling my uh, my group of people here. They're calling that a cult or a hate group or whatever. Um, literal cults, literal hate groups, they, they form around a core justification for a form of... Uh, irrational intolerance or irrational beliefs and they they have induction ceremonies and you know fucking acceptance in terms of familial bullshit and I've seen that so many times in this quote map community where these people are acting like one big happy family that are now suddenly stronger together and like co-opting LGBT blah blah, co-opting libertarian blah blah, co-opting whatever they need to, to act as though they're just as legitimate a community or a group as anybody else. And that's that's where, like, I think he got emboldened by the idea of a group that would accept somebody like him, um, and he didn't actually care what group that was, how pariah it was, and then once they did accept him, he sort of started to die on that hill, because that group would still accept him no matter what as long as he accepted them. Libertarians, mm -hmm. we have standards. Anarchists have standards. The map community, they'll take any sort as long as they approve of kid fucking. Yeah, in fact, uh, those who know my history when it comes to dealing with this topic, I have exposed at least more than one particular map who has been found out through their own history that they have actually raped and murdered kids there's there's people like that who are accepted in their communities um and it's a consistent problem do that the maps will not address do you have that name so there was this guy no, named christopher tremenin i'm sorry if i mispronounced that it's a uk guy who uh has apparently raped and killed or at least ki managed to uh be responsible for the suicide of one of the victims uh, and because of the laws around UK in terms of travel banning, which was severely inefficient, uh, to avoid the law at some point after he got out uh, and a bunch of other shit, he decided to move to Vietnam, where a lot of the people where he lives in Vietnam were unaware into a certain point that this guy is a child molester. Mm. This guy has exploited kids. Um, this guy was responsible for a suicide of one of them because there was there was a presumption which had some reasonable evidence behind it that that kid had evidence of what he was doing to that kid. And what usually these predators do 
is they try to convince the child to kill themselves when they when the predator thinks they're going to get caught so that th those secrets will die with the child mm. it's it's a very it's a very common problem and i brought this up of course the maps will not listen they they pretend like it's not a big deal or they'll play slight disassociation games and then come back to that person once they think no one is watching them at that particular instance like there's been plenty of times where this has been the case and probably more. I've known other channels also have probably likely called that out for what it is as well. This is a common problem. This is the reason why the Hunt series, I call it, exists because these maps, in that's what it was entirely initially about and largely still is, calling out these map retards because all they're doing is justifying legitimate freaks and people who have not only have raped kids – but have potentially caused murder or homicide or any of that of the in betweens and law just to uh, hide secrets and get away with their crimes. It's it's ridiculously common. Do you have a Do you have a video where you discuss that? Yes, I do. It's uh, called the Pedo Hunt, Pedo on the Run. Okay, well uh, I'll link that in the in the cards once this video is up. Um, so okay, um. I, I mean, I guess that mostly sews it up, um, because I think I think the problem is he has a community that legitimizes this stuff, and he doesn't need to worry about pissing off anyone else because this community will always accept him back. Uh, it doesn't matter what he does, really. Um, mm -hmm. Even if even if he acted on it, um, which he said he was a no map, but the way he's talking, it makes him really sound like he wants to. And then he lied yep. about being asexual the other day, so that was fun. But the 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 whole like if if he ever acts on it, uh, they'll probably still even accept him because a decent chunk of these people say that that's okay too. And he's trying to say it's okay. He's trying to legitimize it. So, mm -hmm. um, I I guess then um, if you had anything to say to the people who who are trying to defend him and apologize for what he's doing. Uh, yeah, I actually got a, a fair bit to say. Um, I'll just condense it to my best uh, possible point. You're not doing yourself any favors by involving yourself with someone like that who has clearly done wrong. And if you are watching these videos or even whatever I'm going to say or what anyone else is going to say about this whole situation, if not more in the future, you're not doing yourself favors by covering up for Riley's uh, disgusting actions or belief systems because he's trying to justify it. He's hanging out with people who have who are justifying wrong things. Except in, in fact, Amos Yee was caught twice with uh, trying to exploit CP off of minors. <laughs> if you want it, you want proof, look up Surviving Life, a channel that actually has exposed this serious fucking information before, as well as others. Like this is what you're supporting. By refusing to acknowledge what he has said and done and trying to dismiss people like me in your eyes not existing because we're showing you a truth that you refuse to acknowledge. Yeah, you can do that all you want. Actively. Yeah, you can do that all you want, but that doesn't mean that people like me aren't going to be there, you know, or incapable to be there to show you, no, this is the truth you refuse to acknowledge. All right. Well, with all that being said, uh, time to get back to the mainstream chunk of the video. Um, thank you for coming on, Cass. I think that was a little bit more yeah. enlightening than uh, some people might have been expecting. <laughs> no problem. So what do you think? Do you think I'm being too extreme about Riley? Do you think I'm being too extreme in this situation? Or do you think I'm being just the right amount of extreme about somebody who wants to fuck kids? and trying to use libertarian uh, philosophies uh, as a way to push this, thus forever tainting libertarians and being one of the reasons that we get the literal but what if the child consents though meme. Let me know exactly what other information you need to come to the proper conclusion here that this person needs to be held accountable and that it's not wrong to talk about it. Because that's all I'm doing. I'm having a discussion about it. And if that bothers anybody, well, hey, sunlight is the best disinfectant, and maybe these pathogens are harmful to the body. Anyway, this has been Jeremiah Harding. 
smash this state.